Welcome back to Savage Kitchen. Today, we are going to be doing a riff on my favorite cocktail, the old fashioned. I, I love a good old fashioned. I am of the mind that you don't need muddled fruit in your old fashioned. You also don't need soda water in your old fashioned. I know there's a big debate out there. People do it a lot of different ways, but to me, an old fashioned is bourbon, simple syrup, and bitters. That's it. Um, and then anything else on that is sort of a riff. However, if you've been with Savage Kitchen for a while, you know that I don't believe that there are any rules when it comes to cocktails. Make something you like, find flavor profiles that work for you, and have fun, experiment. This should be a good time. So for our riff today, we are going to be making a cold brew old fashioned, or simply put, a cold fashion. In front of me, I have my uh, favorite bourbon, Noble Oak, and they plant a tree for every bottle that they sell. So really, your drinking is helping the environment. Now, you could do this with plain old black coffee, but I have a love affair with Mr. Black. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos, uh, you know that I've got a couple of cocktails that I have used with Mr. Black, and I have a video uh, purely about tasting this and comparing it to Kahlua. Uh, spoiler alert, they're very, very different. Um, and second spoiler alert, this is delicious. I love it. However, I am aware that Mr. Black is not readily available all over the world. So if you can't get your hands on this, I would, uh, rather than substitute another coffee liqueur, I would actually just use black coffee because the flavor on this actually most closely resembles coffee rather than the sweetness that some other coffee liqueurs have. Uh, then we are also going to be adding Hella chocolate bitters. I, uh, there's a lot of different companies that make chocolate bitters. I, <laughs> I love Hella. They do wild things. They have eucalyptus bitters that I think are absolutely amazing. And their chocolate bitters <sighs> make me real happy. And then uh, we just have some plain old one-to-one uh, -one simple syrup. For a garnish, uh, we're gonna do two things. We're getting kind of fancy today. I have this amazing ice stamp that the uh, fine folks at Mr. Black sent me for winning the uh, week one of the coffee cocktail challenge. So big thank you to Mr. Black and to Steve the bartender. I am super excited to try this out. And then in addition to that for a garnish, we're gonna throw in a Luxardo cherry and we're gonna do an orange peel. Uh, the cherries are actually kind of important in this instance because we're actually gonna take a little bit of this syrup too to add a little extra oomph to our cocktail. So uh, get yourself some Luxardos. Okay, tools you're gonna need. Mixing glass, cocktail jigger, something to stir it all up with. Um, and in the end, we're gonna go over a big block of ice. I know people get crazy about their ice. I've been trying to do clear ice cubes. I don't really have the patience for it. So whatever suits your fancy, but I recommend a large cube of ice for an old fashioned. All right, so let's get into it. We're gonna start with two ounces of your favorite bourbon. Mm, I've missed you. I really, I haven't been making bourbon drinks for a little while just cause I had so many other fun things to try, but it's like coming back to an old friend. Does that mean I have a problem? All right, two ounces of bourbon. And then we're gonna do an ounce and a half of our coffee liqueur. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't think I can recommend this coffee liqueur enough. And by the way, it's not like I'm sponsored by them or anything. Like they don't pay me to say this. I just genuinely love this coffee liqueur. It tastes like nothing else. It smells like, hmm, it, it smells like coffee, but there's definitely a sweetness to it. There's almost a burnt flavor to it, like in a positive way, not like terrible burnt Starbucks. Um, it's just really good. Go ahead and watch the tasting video if you want more on this, but my, uh, my reaction to this is pretty strong. Okay, ounce and a half, Mr. Black. And then we're gonna do uh, just a half ounce of simple syrup. If you ignore my advice and end up using something like Kahlua, I'm not mad at it, but I would suggest dialing back on the simple syrup. The Mr. Black really is not very sweet at all and something like a Kahlua is. So uh, adding more simple syrup to that might be a little bit of overkill. So we're gonna just do half an ounce in this instance. There we go. And then three dashes of chocolate bitters. All right, a little bit more, it's a new bottle, so. And then we're just gonna take a bar spoonful of the 
Luxardo cherry juice. If I can open it. Jesus. Whoops. Try and do this without getting a cherry. So just a bar spoonful. <laughs> mm. Stir, stir. All right, let's give this a little taste. Mm. Woo! Damn, that's good. <laughs> Just keep in mind when you're making cocktails that are very simple, like two or three ingredients, definitely choose spirits that you enjoy on their own. This is a very spirit forward drink. And part of the reason I love it so much is because I love this bourbon and I love this liqueur. If you make this with ingredients that are like subpar or that you don't enjoy, it's gonna taste different, but this is fantastic. Okay, let's get our glass ready. I am super excited to try out this ice stamp with my not quite clear ice, like a cocktail that stares back. Ooh, it kind of sizzles. Oh, that's super cool. All right, I like this. Take our strainer. Oh, well, that's just fun. Now we're gonna do two things. We're gonna add a Luxardo cherry. Don't mind me while I stab it. And then we're gonna garnish this with an orange peel. So just, you can use a peeler. Being lazy just because I have a knife out. And then we're going to just express some of the oils from this over our cocktail. And then uh, my friend Vino doesn't like to see hobo garnish, says we should clean up the edges. So let's clean up the edges, shall we? There we go. No hobo garnish. I love how it's looking back. Well, there we have it, a cold brew old fashioned. Cheers, friends. <laughs> that is, oh my God, that's so good. Mm. I wonder how this would be with the bacon bourbon. Ooh, stay tuned.